Well, that was a plan, but good morning. Um, it's about 12 o'clock. And your girl's been up since like nine. I got a good eight hours of sleep. Um, today is one of my off days. Honestly, this whole week since I've had this issue in my motherfucking nostrils, I've had an off week, but I feel like emotionally it's off today. Mentally it's off today. Well, actually. I'll say emotionally is off today. Mentally, it's been off alongside me having to deal with my sinuses and whether I'm sick or whatnot. Um, <clears throat> but it is 12 o'clock. Your girl is showered and she got um, an edit in. I also paid for a promotion on YouTube. So I want to see how that goes. I put $50 towards it and it says it's supposed to do like 200 uh, to 250 um, uh, views on that video. So we're going to see. I was going to do 100, but I'm like, let me do a lesser amount to see like for it to be my first time like i didn't want to put a whole bunch of money into it um the overall ob objective of it is so that i can gain engagement like i get it if i'm boring okay cool but like i honestly just feel like my content is not reaching who it's supposed to reach because i just don't feel like i'm boring like i feel like i'm pretty amazing if I must say so myself I'm learning how to communicate more I'm learning how to bring up topics that honestly I was skeptical about bringing up because I don't like um debates I don't like controversy I don't like um like conflict and things of that nature I'm looking for a specific word that I always say but it's not coming to me at this moment but um <clears throat> Yeah, so with that being said, I just, I feel like, shit, we could be real with each other. I can show parts of my relationship, being a part of the LGBT community. I'm silly. I can do some sort of pranks. I feel like the general pranks that they promote on YouTube are not really my style i can understand skits like i feel like i would do skits to where um i i would probably be the one to like voice that it's a skit versus that it's a prank but i know that that's bad for business because people are more prone to um feeling like things are actual opposed to knowing that they're fake so that wouldn't be a good business move if I was to be that overtly honest. Um, so that's why I really don't stick to the pranks because the pranks that I will provide are more um, laxed and they are like in a split second and I don't think them through. I just do it like I'm really a playful person. So um I don't know how that would work, but otherwise, I feel like my content is, like, all over the place. I travel. I do makeup. I do my hair. I do hair, period. Um, I do art. I go out. I, um, I edit. I freaking scroll. Like, I'm relatable to a lot of people who are actually stuck. Like, <laughs> I'm honestly stuck. I present all these attributes about myself, but your girl just don't know where to go, don't know. I mean, I guess I've started, but I just don't know what to do next. Hold on. I would have blew my nose on camera, but I just feel like let's get to know each other a little bit first. You know what I'm saying? I try to like sit down with myself on what I could possibly be doing wrong or um, what I can do differently that'll catch my specific audience. And I think one thing that I'm like going <clears> toe to toe with self about is I don't want to do thumbnails. I don't like thumbnails. Personally, I just feel like 
I don't look at a thumbnail and then that draws me to the 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 person. I think what draws me to a person is yeah, I don't recall what grabbed me to the video. I guess it was the thumbnail. I don't know. I just don't I don't care for thumbnails. Like I want it to be as like realistic as possible and thumbnails just started becoming a thing but youtube was always a thing and people got thousands and millions of views without having to do all that extra cartoonish stuff so i don't know thumbnails aren't my thing so it's like do i get out of my head about that and just make the business moves of doing thumbnails even though it's not really me um i started doing like the clickbait type titles but i still want to be realistic so they're not like completely clickbait so i'm just like oh like i have too much things in my head that's like okay do i want to make a business move in regards to my channel or do i want to be authentically myself and obviously i want to be authentically myself so the business side of it like comes down a bit but it is like is this helping me if me being authentic is me being authentically myself helping me or hurting me so then i'm like oh what should i do so then i try to call it like you know, balance it a little bit to where it's still, like, you know, helpful to me. But I don't know. I guess it's not really working. I don't know. I don't want to say it's not working, but I'm saying, I guess it's it's a slower process. Because I can very much be strategic and just have a business mindset when it comes to this YouTube thing. But when I created YouTube... Originally, originally, when I created YouTube, I created YouTube with a, a partner of mine at the time. And I feel like then it was like an exciting thing to do because I, I was watching a lot of couples channels. So on one end, it, it was fun. And on the other, I don't even know if I was like hip to like they made money and things like that I think I was just interested more so in making videos with my partner at the time and then at a point it was just like okay well I'm no longer in that relationship but I still want to you know record I think at that point I learned that you make money off of YouTube so it started to become like oh I want to make money um you know just recording every day and then it got to a point like okay no I want to just record my life so that my life could be provide my life is here here on a platform to where the grands, 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 grands can view and see who I was if I'm no longer here to share that with them. And if I'm here to share that with them, they can still see it for themselves. So over time, I want to get better and better with vlogging. I feel like I vlog bits and pieces out in my day, but I want to Let's say I vlog like five pieces throughout my day, but I want to vlog at least like 10 pieces throughout my day. And I'm in my head about that as well, because, you know, I I can I like to be transparent, but I see where oversharing can like um, I, I, I don't know what the, the right word to use is, but I don't want to overshare to where it becomes like a, a toxic environment for me and I'm not able to be my authentic self and I'm no longer wanting to do what I currently have in mind, which is basically share my thoughts, share my life with my loved ones and people who are interested in watching it. So with that being said, I'm just really stuck. I'm stuck and... I have thoughts about what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it. But then I go back and forth with myself. So that's really what I'm trying to figure out. So with that being said, your girl is just going to keep doing what she's doing. I'm trying not to be too hard on myself. I'm going to go make me some breakfast. Um, I have my Instacart app on. So it may work. It's raining outside. It's a little, little gloomy. I'm feeling a little gloomy. Um... I just had like a slight breakup. Uh, we weren't in a relationship, but for the most part, I think that we are, you know, at this point making it to where we're going our separate ways officially. Um, in another video, I can dive into how I am in relationships, but it does have a, it does play a huge effect on why my relationships don't often work out. One of the reasons, I won't say a huge effect, it's one of the reasons why my relationships don't often work out. And I'm just at the point where I really cannot do another relationship. Like, I just, I really need to focus on myself. There's so much things that I, um, 
neglect mentally that is continuing the cycle and I'm just over it at this point so yeah I just have a lot on my mind I might journal I want to get back into yoga that really calmed me I feel like uh, pre-pandemic or right when the pandemic started around around the start of the pandemic your girl was feeling great your girl was practicing yoga every day pre-pandemic and then after the pandemic it became like a routine of me building up my upper body strength so I was doing like handstands and things like that and I didn't know how much of a mental effect it had on me but it was an amazing positive effect that allowed me to to bloom into a person that I can't currently see right this second. So with that being said, I need to start yoga again as much as I say it on a day-to-day basis. I feel like I'm inching right back into the routine slowly but shortly. So that's what's on my mind currently. That's what we got going on. And yeah, I just need to go put something in my stomach and drink me some tea. And I'm over sounding like this. It's actually really annoying to have to wake up all throughout the night, blowing my motherfucking nose, not being able to sleep, sleeping my mouth open. Uh, mind you, I slept with my mouth open already, but I'm just, the th- dry throat, I'm just, ugh, I'm just. I need to go to the spa. Oh. I might go to the spa. This weekend, I might go to the spa. There's this one room. If I'm still sounding sounding like this, I might go to the spa. There's this one room in Jeju that would have been got this right. I probably would have had to go in there with some tissue. So, yeah. It would have been got this right because. Your girl is struggling. It's like a methyl. Is it methyl? Is what is methyl? I don't know what methyl is. I that don't sound right to me. Is it methyl? It like go through your nose and then you could feel it in your throat when you breathe. You could feel it in your throat. <sighs> anyway, so. We're about to do an Instacart haul because we have groceries. Yay! First, we have Briars. Yum. Rocky Roll Vanilla, French Vanilla, and Cherry Vanilla. Then we have Club in Cheeses. We have candy bars we have you like these uh, what they call English muffins we have Reese eggs oh, my favorite we have spinach we have bananas oh we got mushrooms. Oh, no mushrooms. We got more club crackers. Those are good. We have mac and cheese. We have beef pot roast. Beef pot roast. We have white rice in a bag. Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff. Asian sesame with ginger and soy. What is this? Is this? Oh, this is salad dressing. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Rice Krispie treat. Uh oh, strawberries fell out. We got strawberries. It's a little messy. We have a bread pepper. We have hazelnut creamer, I guess. Okay, we're still going. We have cherry yogurt, black 
cherry yogurt, cottage cheese. Yeah, no bueno. We have corn, four things of creamer corn, white creamer corn. We have a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> we have peas. Oh, this is my favorite because I was like, oh, I want to buy this one day. Cinnamon rolls, even though I just bought some and was supposed to cook with the kids and I didn't. This is spinach and cheese ravioli. You might like that. We got roasted garlic and Italian herb. Um, this is fish. Um, and then we got grilled salmon. This is frozen, so you probably don't need that. We have, <laughs> we have granola bars, chocolate, cashew, and almond. I remember getting these. So. And then we have heavy whipping cream. None of us drink coffee, so that's gonna go to waste. French onion dip. That's good. I like that. I haven't had it in a minute. And this last but not least, we have 100% cranberry corn cord grape juice. Two of these. Woo! Yep. So basically what happened was I delivered this food. This was my second delivery. This was the order. Okay, let me tell you from the beginning. I caught an order for forty six dollars, and it was three. It was three customers, and like a total of, I want to say, I think it was like ninety items. So, the this order was the largest order, and it was the second customer. So they are labeled B, right? I get to B house, and as soon as I delivered the bags and was pulling out the driveway. I get a notification saying that it was canceled. And I may insert the um, screenshot. I really don't think, I don't think it's necessary. But anyway, it said that it was canceled. I've never had that happen to me before where something canceled in the middle of me doing a ride, like the whole batch canceled. I never had that happen to me before. So I had to deliver it to one more person. And I was just like, what does that mean? And I'm like, am I gonna get paid for it? Like, I was just annoyed because this one has the most items. So then after delivering my order, I should have been over $100 by now. But I'm under because this batch didn't go through. So I was like, okay, I didn't get paid for it. But what happened was I got paid for it, as Instacart says, but their tip went away. So they might have been tipping me. I feel like they tipped me like a little under $20. And... Uh, my tips went down to $13 only. So, and that was from the two other customers. So, Instacart said, because most of these items is perishable, they're not allowed to be taken back to the store. Um, and I still got paid for the order. Um, the tip went away, obviously. So, instead of getting $46, I got $29. And... They said that Instacart said I could um, donate donate these or throw them away or keep them or whatever. So guess who's keeping them? We are. And whatever we don't eat, I'm gonna see if my sister want. And if she don't want them, I guess we could donate them because don't need them sitting in here. But I see a couple things I do want. Oh. Yeah, I want the spinach. I want the fruit. I don't really care for peas. I will take the seafood. Yeah, heavy whipping cream and, and creamer. We don't use that. Um, I like granola bars, but I could give those away too. I don't want those. I guess we're keeping everything else. Oh, mac and cheese. I don't want that. It's Velveeta. Oh, and that. I like the frozen Oh, and I'll eat this beef pot roast. 
I don't want that. We don't want no cottage cheese. And we I doubt we eat this corn. You wanna eat the corn? It's the white creamed corn. But we'll keep the ice cream and the crackers and all the snacks. Thank you. Thank you, B. Ma. Let me see if they unsalted. Cancel my injections. No, they didn't cancel. They but said, that don't mean. <laughs> they said because people. That don't mean that you. <laughs> they said because people are organ. Organ. Oh my God! Let me put these so away. To do that in this story on the Lenten News First dot com. Live in Salvo, Andy Brody. If you can't tell, I make the best salads. Amen. And I'm joined today by my girl, Claudia Logan, and she is back on the couch with me as we dive into all things episode three. Episode three. Interesting. Like, that's the word. It's 11 p.m. and we're having cinnamon rolls. Turn upside down. Turn upside down. It's got a few more minutes. Shake your booty. You know what I'm saying? She looked like Cardi B for us, I think. I'm going to be dealt with the word. 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 I'm going to be